Travelers of Reddit, where do you never want to go again? Manila. I love the other places I went in the Philippines, but Manila was awful. The air quality, the traffic, the garbage, and the weird proliferation of air-conditioned shopping malls. Most of all, the child poverty was heart-wrenching. A good wake-up call for a privileged westerner, but not one I want again. Pueblo, Colorado. It's perpetually a Tuesday in 1988 there, every day. Best friend lives there and says it's one of the most boring places he's ever lived. He's from Oklahoma like I am, so that's saying something. United Arab Emirates. Why anyone ever decided to start a city where it's 120 degrees and 90 plus percent humidity every day is far beyond me. Oil. Freeport Bahamas. The beaches were very dirty and I just felt like I was on a shipyard. They also have a problem with feral dogs. They were everywhere. It broke my heart to see the skin and bone dogs. I guess so many of them starved to death they cannot keep up with the body pickups. I saw too many decaying dogs to count. Seriously would never go back. Another reason I didn't care for my trip was due to the fact that I was out there vacationing. Sipping on martinis. While the locals were struggling to put food on the table. I saw where they lived and it really broke my heart. I felt very guilty knowing that my tourist ass wasn't assisting them really in any way. I'm not familiar with Bahamian tax laws and government issued programs but I can't imagine that the tourist money goes back to the people if that makes sense. I will say though that they have a Lucan National Park east of the city that has a huge beautiful beach with very few people. But I spent 6 months on that island for work and on the second weekend I realized all there was to do was to go to the tourist bars and read while nursing a drink. The Arctic Circle in Northern Alaska. I live in the interior so I take trips all around the state. There is literally nothing up there and no reason to go up there other than to say you've crossed the Arctic Circle. Bad roads and tons of mosquitoes. Not much scenery. No good places to camp. I'd rather spend hours driving to go somewhere with a little more to it. Probably the Hollywood Boulevard bit in LA. It's not interesting and freaking busy. It's funny because there's so many better places in LA, but everyone wants to go to Hollywood. Hobama, Ab. This place had such a bad reputation they changed the name two years ago. Obviously not fooling anyone guys. Kuta Beach, Bali. Had such high expectations but there was just trash everywhere. Completely agree. It was quite horrible and ad in the street vendors that would physically grab you and pull you into their store and I did not have a good experience. Other parts of Bali are beautiful. Belize City. Belize was one of our stops for the cruise we were on. I always heard about how gorgeous Belize was, and I'm sure there are beautiful parts of Belize, but Belize City was an absolute crap hole. They pretty much dropped a majority of white US citizens and thought it would be okay to let us roam a city that was torn by local civil war. The city was full of armed military guards standing at street corners and the city canals and streets were incredibly polluted. I live in Baltimore and have seen some bad neighborhoods, but Billy City seemed way worse than anything I've seen. Many stores had armed guards who would unlock the door to let you in and once you were inside, they would lock the door behind you. We didn't experience any issues with the or violence but it was the strangest feeling getting stared down from every angle. We stayed for about an hour and then decided it was time to get the frick out. As we were leaving there were 3 people standing near the port. They looked at us and said welcome to the real world. Once we got back to the ship, we strolled past the lobby. There may have been 4 or 5 employees working the customer service desk. Each employee had a deep line and the chatter was all centered around angry complaints about dropping us off at Belize City. Needless to say, that same cruise line took Belize off their itinerary soon after. Somalia. I went there when I was in the navy and spent some time on shore looking at pits full of corpses and kids with machine guns. Frick that place. Greyhound bus station in Atlanta. I have never seen such an array of terrifying things happen in one small space. That place is a nightmare. On a bus tour, it was the most frustrating travel experience of my life. Want to see something? Too bad. Get back on the bus. Done seeing something? Too bad. Wait on the bus. And here is the magnificent Yosemite Nat. Get the frick back in the bus. We're on a timetable. Folks. God. That was infuriating. Freaking Gary. Indiana. 
came off the exit immediately into a neighborhood that looked like it was hit with some natural disaster before and never recovered. But no they're just too broke to fix their roads or anything. We tried to cut through the neighborhood as fast as possible but the potholes made us not go over 25. We finally got to a gas station and the guy at the register said yeah you all should get out soon. It's about the time when they start robbing people. Advice taken. Got the frick out of there. Lapa, Rio de Janeiro. Pickpocketers run that place. I saw one of my buddies get picked and confronted the pickpocketer in hopes of getting his stuff back. They proceeded to kick my ass. Just skip it. Brazilian here. The city is incredibly dangerous. If you wanna avoid getting mugged don't wear what you do normally. Basic tea. Old tennis shoes and some jeans will do you fine. Don't ever confront a criminal there for your own safety. Just hand it all over. Oh and in stop and go traffic windows should be going up. Camden, New Jersey. We went to visit a friend there. He says that he can't wait to escape Camden. It's so ugly and dirty. I don't imagine anyone has spent time in Port Morrisby. PNG? It has the dubious honor of being in the world's top 5 most dangerous cities. Plus the murders that happen there are generally way more random than hellish. Drug infused places like Honduras or Guatemala. Port Morrisby is interesting as well since there is a high probability that, not only will you be killed mercilessly, but you will be eaten as well. I spent a week there one time. Hollywood Boulevard. It's almost dystopian like. Last I went there was just a homeless guy lying on the ground looking totally dead inside as a speaker above him blasted one way or another. And there was a drunk person in a really dirty Minnie Mouse costume stumbling by. Tourists everywhere as if it's no big deal that there are poor people suffering everywhere in this spot that's portrayed as this glamorous, illustrious place on TV. We left after 5 minutes, or tried to, there were crowds of tourists everywhere. Pattaya, Thailand. Basically the S tourism capital of Thailand. Of all the places in Thailand you could have visited. The hotter parts of Arizona. I swear that state's population is going to hit zero if there's a large solar flare or an imp. Baking dashboard cookies has become a pastime here. I've also seen people grill steaks on the asphalt. Send help PLS. Dubai. It's Vegas without the debauchery. Dubai. I thought it would be fun to see all the skyscrapers and supercars. Got tired of it in 5 minutes. Zimbabwe. Went there to see Victoria Falls. Stayed at the Victoria Falls Hotel to be within walking distance. Everywhere, people were just standing around with just two or three carved trinkets they were trying to sell. There were absolutely no buyers. Looked like something out of a Twilight Zone show. First thing they asked when you got close to them is if you'd sell them your shoes. No kidding, every single one. East St. Louis. I was meeting a colleague for dinner at a Mexican restaurant in a not terrible part of East St. Louis. Unfortunately, Apple Maps took me into a desolate neighborhood with gigantic potholes in the streets and empty lots interspersed with abandoned houses on either side. Thankfully, it was a 90 degree Fahrenheit July afternoon and no one was out and about. I stopped in the middle of one street, looked around, saw no one, and entered the same address into Google Maps. This time it took me to the restaurant. Had to drive through East STL on a quiet trip one time. Probably one of the most depressing places I've ever been. Boarded up. Abandoned buildings everywhere. Confused looking people walking around. The kicker was that almost every yard had these signs with we must stop killing each other on the front and we must start loving each other on the back. A very sad place. Yakima, WA. They might call it the Palm Springs of Washington or Yukivagus. But it's an absolute crap hole. Highest rate of carjacking in the country and rife with violent crime. I had a friend that went there for a soccer match when he was in high school, and the match was cancelled because one of the kids on the other team was a gang member and some buttholes drove by and shot at the players on the field. Luckily nobody was hurt, but gives you an idea of what sort of special crap hole Yakimo is. That said, the Yakimo Valley makes some amazing fruit and hops. If you've ever had a Washington apple or a craft beer from anywhere in the US, there's a very high chance that the apple or the hops came from the Yakimo Valley. I live in Yakima and completely agree with your assessment. As long as you stay west of 40th Ave everything is okie dokie. Anything east of 16th starts to get dicey. In between is mixed. 
was almost held hostage by a cab driver that gave us a tour of Mauritius. It was our last day and the sucker kept forcing us to go to these really weird places that were apparently exclusive. We made it plenty clear we had no interest in going to these places but he said we had to go as he got a kickback and kept taking us. My girlfriend was just crying and crying. Definitely the UAE Dubai. While flying home from a business trip about a year ago, I was pulled aside at security, forced to remove all my clothing, given a ridiculously intimate and degrading strip search, including spreading over and bending spreading my ass cheeks and having to retract my foreskin, forced to stand naked while my belongings were searched and my tattoos were photographed, and then interrogated for over an hour while they looked through my phone, computer and other belongings. I missed my flight and wasn't even given a reason for the search. Luckily I haven't been back and I never will. The airport of Moscow. Boy, that place was bad. The bathroom smelled like smoke everywhere. Staff was unfriendly and the gates change all the time. Maybe it was just a bad day, but geez that place was unorganized. That's where Edward Snowden got stuck fleeing from US authorities trying to arrest him for leaking. Apparently Gary Indiana is worth a thread all to itself regarding our pits to live in. I drove through once and was instantly depressed. Will hopefully never return. Syria. I hitchhiked from Alexandria to Istanbul, through Jordan and Syria, before the Arab Spring. Syria was a beautiful and historically fascinating country, naturally fertile and prosperous, with delicious food and friendly people. But it was backward, closed-minded, poor and seedy because of a corrupt, paranoid authoritarian government. Now it's a war zone and a humanitarian disaster, which is far, far, worse. Daytona Beach I'm not exactly sure why after a 9 month deployment I chose to go there, never again. Well, I've currently been stuck in the Newark airport for 7 hours and I'd be perfectly happy if I never had to come here again. Kajaraho, India. It's most famous for its intricately sculpted temples, some of which depict intimate acts. I traveled through India alone for months and, as an obviously foreign woman, I got the expected and wanted attention. But Kajaraho was different. It was non-stop harassment everywhere I went and the men always became aggressive when I ignored politely declined their advances. I was having such a horrible time that I decided to just go back to the hotel where a man in the lobby wanted to have dinner with me and I, again, declined. The lady at the desk must have given him my room number because he called my phone until I disconnected it and then started pounding on my door and telling me to let him in. It was truly horrible. This one toilet in Cusco, Peru, that I totally defiled during a particularly nasty bout of food poisoning. Every time I started to clean up, the cramps returned and I had to my bum back on the seat sharpish. It was like a hellish fusion of Sisyphus and the orgy and stables, with added anal burning and shame. The horror. Dubai. Long story short, I ended up unexpectedly spending 8 days there. Never been to a more vacuous, culture deficient place. All it has is shopping and vast inequality and oppression of the poor. Oh and it's hotter and sweatier than Satan's Balsack. Alternatively, I would not recommend traveling to Satan's Balsack either. Here's Bob Ross holding a baby raccoon to brighten your day. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and comment. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way. Have a great day you magnificent people.